Howdy gamers, Laffenstein here and I hope you are having a great day. We received access to Galactic Glitch, a 2D action roguelike shooter. Galactic Glitch, developed and published by Crunchyleaf Games, begins when you are awoken by a mysterious entity who requests your help in escaping a simulation where you both seem to be stuck. The details around the world, the entity, and yourself are mysterious. Escaping requires you to jump from bubble to bubble, destroying enemies, collecting power-ups, and defeating bosses. Combat is an absolute delight with numerous weapon options for both your primary and secondary weapon. Your primary weapon is your main gun, obviously, which you will be using when your secondary and more powerful weapon is charging. You can buy new weapons at the shop or earn some from elite and boss encounters. Weapons are not just different beams that do more damage. They change the way you engage in combat entirely and I love it. You can have a weapon that deals heavy damage but kicks the shit back or an AoE with limited range, which requires you to get up close and place yourself in danger. The give and take in this game is very well thought out. I also love this feature that compares the current weapon with the weapon you can pick up. It's a simple UI choice and it is extremely valuable. In addition to several weapons, you can also use the environment against your enemies. With your gravity gun, you can launch asteroids at your enemy. You can also pick up turrets and make them work for you. And if you are fast enough, you can take the enemy's missile and hurl it back. If you finish the level without taking damage, under a set amount of time, or by clearing every room, you receive a bonus at the end of the level. Different encounters will yield different rewards, which are added to your inventory and they will affect the battle around you. This could be gaining a shield before every encounter, a chance to gain health if you destroy enemies with asteroids, shooting a missile when you dodge, etc. Each level is large, with several different paths to take and ways to explore. You can check every nook and cranny to greet as much as possible or go on a more direct route and proceed to the next level. The game design elements in this game are amazing. A lot of indie developers can take note from Crunchy Leaf Games too. Whenever you go to quit, it prompts the user for feedback. Having a demo has proven to increase sales and drive engagement. This game is also a prologue which serves as a long form demo for the full game. On the pause screen, there are links to all the socials so there's a lot of call to actions inside the game itself to generate engagement. Since everything is put off to the side, it doesn't feel intrusive. The music in this game slaps. It really fits the theme of the game, and I love this little audio cue. Whenever you approach a boss fight, there is a sequence of notes I really enjoy. There is a lot of replayability to be had. You have the chance to upgrade the level of difficulty. You can also change your primary and secondary weapon in a hub world before beginning a run. The difficulty does scale tremendously in a way which feels fair because entirely different and more difficult enemies spawn making the run discernibly different from the last. Do I suggest it? Absolutely. This is a marvelous game that frankly seems to have everything going for it, even the story. I want to figure out what this mysterious entity is up to, who they are, because they don't seem very nice. I knew I was going to like this game when I initially started it and my eardrums weren't destroyed. Seriously, why can't games figure out the volume when you first launch them? I'm not sure how much this game is going to cost, but I personally feel like $20 would be a fair price point. Which games are you looking forward to? Let me know in the comments below. This has been an Indie Lab review, and I have been Laffenstein. See you in the next one, gamers.